You can see how one leads to the other, right? We're looking at ATG for the upper back, thoracic spine, and why it's so important for overcoming back pain. I'm going to show you a few exercises that are ATG staples and that help you overcome chronic spinal flexion, rounding, and pain, and how it restores the extension in your spine in a neutral position. Tune in. Let's go. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe to this channel for all information regarding movement-based back pain solutions. Okay, today we're talking about ATG for the upper back, the thoracic spine, and how effective it is for overcoming chronic back pain. So if we look at back pain, most of our occurrences, not all of them, most of them happen in a rounded position where we have the C-curve in the spine, we're kind of hunched over and rounded here. Okay, we get used to this position a lot and it can contribute, if you are experiencing back pain, it can contribute to it not getting better or perhaps even worse case, it, uh, the pain getting worse. So what we need to do is expose ourselves to some forces in thoracic extension, okay? And we've already covered some exercises in Spinal Freedom, my 28 day video course that help mobilize and expose us to those um, exposing forces. However, we, get, we need to get to a point where we need to add load and strengthen the muscles in both the mid to upper back and the front of the chest, okay? They work together, the back muscles, the, the trap and the thoracic spine muscles contract and shorten and they allow the front, the chest, the shoulder, the anterior deltoids to lengthen, okay? So the first exercise I showed in the introduction was the pullover. I'm going to show you two versions here. Um, one cross bench, which is the one I showed you in the introduction. And the first one is just going in line parallel with the bench on top of it. Okay, so that's the one I want you to start at because it's a little bit more friendly for range of motion. Um, there isn't as long of a lever and you have a bit more support on your um, throughout your body. Okay, so cross bench pullover, you're going to be laying down on the bench and I'm going to show you upside down so you can see me while I'm talking to you. Okay, our feet will be on the bench and so will our head. Okay, we're going to grab the dumbbell with a diamond and we're going to push it up and away and make a big circle and reach down as far as we can, arching the back and pulling back up, okay? Again, I'm gonna show you three reps. Big arch in the back, getting long, pushing the dumbbell away the whole time. And if our range of motion doesn't support going to the ground, we only go to where we can handle, and then bringing it back, okay? So that's version one, and that's a great way to build some uh, eccentric load through the thoracic spine and extending the thoracic spine. You're gonna feel taller, it's gonna elongate your spine, you're gonna feel a little bit more extended and upright. And it'll feel, it usually feels very good with all my athletes because we're just so used to being hunched over all the time. So this is a good way to counter that. And it's, um, now we're using some dumbbells, but usually this um, requires minimal load. There are some regressions you can use against the wall on the ground. These are part of spinal freedom. And I show you those exercises that you can do at home with zero equipment, which are great. However, in my experience for myself anecdotally and with my athletes, it comes to a point where strength becomes a necessity. The more protected we are around a structure with muscle and strength, the uh, more support we have for overcoming chronic back pain. Now I'm going to show you the cross bench version, <clears throat> which I showed you in the introduction. Our hips go on the bench, and then we lift ourselves off. We want to get the bottom of our rib cage, of our lats, on the bench. Okay? We're going to grab our dumbbell, bring it to our chest push it up and away, same exercise, our hips stay high, and we reach for the floor, and then if we have the range of motion, we can drop our hips, get a big breath, 
into the front of the body, into the abs, bring it back. So this is an exercise that helps so many ATG coaches regain the back bridge because you can see it's a similar shape under load that many of us over time ended up just getting a little bit closer. And closer and it got to the point where it's not so much of a gap to end up trying the back bridge so you don't get this confused the back bridge is not a prerequisite to solving back pain it's not something we need to do but they're fun targets they're great to have it's a great exercise that we want to be able to kind of strive for um, but they're not a necessity you don't need to do that they're just some cool funky trick um, that look good on YouTube and social media. Um, however, they are something we can strive for because maybe perhaps you like those process or outcome goals. Um, and that could be one of them for you. Maybe you already have it. Maybe you already have far um, more range of motion or ability. Um, then it gets to a point that perhaps some strength there is what you're missing. So don't be confused. It's not a prescription for back pain. It's just a target that we can use for. Okay, and the other exercise I want to show us is for the trapezius muscles, the trap raise. Okay, there's a diff couple different ways we can do this. Same with the pullover. And I'm going to show you the incline bench version. So if I show you from the side version, bear with me with my home gym. Okay, if I show you from the side version and incline the bench to a 45 degree incline I got a couple dumbbells here I start light and I don't really need too much I like putting a knee on the bench and supporting myself and my body but you could be seated like so for sure here I like the knee okay and the dumbbells are gonna be down towards the floor arms straight chest supported with the uh, bench. So this exercise for the trapezius muscles, which start in the neck and go down to the upper back and then the lower back. And all I'm doing is trying to keep my elbow straight, initiating the movement with my scapular retraction back and then lifting arms at a Y, about a 45 degree angle up and then back down. Squeeze the shoulder blades up. Back up. Keeping a pause at the top really initiates the tension in the trapezius muscles in the mid to upper back, which are wonderful um, for kind of keeping that upright spine, that upright torso, and extending the spine. You don't have to start with dumbbells, you can start with anything. Literally, your hand is enough, but usually, and you can start with one hand as well. So usually some dumbbell loading is good feedback. It allows you to feel the muscles needed to perform the exercise. Okay, and you can go one hand. <clears throat> I have to even out because I cannot do something on one side and not finish it on the other side. So this is the trap raise. This is something we regress in spinal freedom and something you can progress with dumbbell loading and keep going. There's also eccentric versions. If you have if you have difficulties getting the, uh, the dumbbell in the air, um, kind of doing the concentric, you can load the eccentric part only by bringing your elbow up, the dumbbell to your shoulder and pressing it up and controlling the way down. Okay, so two more on this side, just to even out. One more. Okay. So these two exercises 
are a great tandem for kind of solidifying the upper back and thoracic spine and just doing it I feel kind of more upright a bit taller postured up feel well presented feel um, more like a gentleman okay and most importantly my back feels great okay so these are two exercises that you could try that many of us have used throughout ATG to help people with some back pain and you can scale these with dumbbell with longer holds with more reps any sort of progressive overload would help um, improve the strength in your thoracic spine and um, upper back okay so thanks for watching please comment on this video like it if you can subscribe share it with a friend who's experiencing back pain i'll be continuing on this trend of all information relative to fixing lower back pain movement based we are not talking about going through um, medical intervention or any sort of alternative treatment we're talking movement based options for you that you can do to help fix your back pain thanks for watching i appreciate your viewership and i'll see you on the next one